Welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out some incredible mockups and 3D animation kits which will take your UI designs to the next level. You can use these for presentations, for Behance, for Dribble and much more. Right then, so let's take a look. Before I begin, we are doing a Delhi UX design meetup. The theme of this meetup is spatial UI design. So if you're in Delhi NCR, go ahead. There will be a link in the description. Book your seat today. You all know Jitter as a UI animation tool, but they now have animated device mockups. These mockups are both 2D as well as 3D in nature. You can find something super simple like this one right here, which you can then edit on your own, add your own animation, even add text, shapes, etc. Or you can do something a little more unique. And if I play this one, look at this, look at this. There's this 3D effect here as well, including this almost dancing screens all on screen, which will look so cool here on YouTube or anywhere else. Apart from that, you can always stack more animations on this. Now, the cool thing is Jitter has many other mockups, including ad mockup, like this cool Apple ads mockup, right, which you might have seen on Apple's website or inside Apple's videos. Also marketing material as well. So if you want an ad, you'll be able to find something unique for your brand, for your needs and requirements as well. The next one is called Vexus Digital. They're taking out these insane aesthetical 3D mockups that you can use free of cost. These look like they've been done in a movie studio of some sorts. The best part is once you've downloaded these, you can edit all of these and add animations inside Spline tool. Yes, these are Spline based designs. So if you find something on Vexus that you're interested in, you just click on Remix and this takes you to a Spline file. Now just go crazy with your designs here. You can add animations as in Spline. So you can actually click on events here and under events, you can add press key up, hover, etc. My favorite here is look at. Whenever I move around or any element I click on will look at my mouse. This is just a classy mistake. <laughs> so the brick is moving and the phone is not, but you get the gist. Since we're already here on Spline, there's another cool person named Max, and he has a lot of cool experiments that he's created. Look at this. As I'm hovering here, the mobile also hovers towards where I'm hovering, and there is a glass and lighting effect, which makes the phone look realistic and the environment looks kind of trippy, to be honest. The next one is by Design Stripe. Design Stripe is responsible for a lot of cool flat illustrations out there, but these mockups are some of the most fun and colorful mockups I've ever seen. My favorite is this first one, which shows this really cool table with these assets, bottles, little clips here and there. And of course, you can quickly just replace this with which, whichever image you like. You can customize the fit as well as change some of these things right here. So you can change the color of some of these elements one by one. Once you're done, you just quickly go ahead and download and it downloads as either JPEG or PNG in high quality as well. Apart from that, you have everything from MacBooks to posters and you also have outdoor billboards. So if you want to tell your friends you're on a billboard, hey, this is a good one. This next one is very straightforward, but has some really unique features. It's called device mockups for perfect presentations. It's called frames and it has a plethora of devices from iPhones to MacBooks to pixels. First of all, you can play around with the environment as well as the directional lighting. And at the background, you can do whatever you like. These cool linear gradients add a lot of depth. You can even change things like camera positioning. So you can have like a 3D rotation as well. You can always add or edit device and it kind of acts like layers. So you can always move one layer on top of the other, kind of like in Photoshop and other tools. And much like Spline, you can move these around like this. And there is a secret button on top here called Mode. If you click on animation, it opens this nice animation keyframe table right here. It's like After Effects, you can edit each single frame you can increase scale, change position, rotate on a 3D axis, as well as add or remove these on command. Now this next one is a hero and a lifesaver for Figma users. This is called Mr. Mockup. Exactly. They have these insanely composed mockups like this one with a lot of depth, 3D imagery and 3D composition just like we all like. You can obviously edit this later inside Figma. Apart from this, 
they have a lot of documentation explaining how you can edit or use this all right guys that was it for today's video if you liked it of course click the thumbs up why not subscribe for weekly content just like this one i'll see you next time until next time take care god bless